What's up my friends? How are you all doing? Wanted to show you my watermelons. Check this out. Hmm? Isn't that beautiful? Check out the size of that thing. 13, 14 inches. 8 inches across. Uh, yeah, I even have a bigger one here. This one. Look. It's huge! Uh, 16 inches. More than 8 inches across. Check it out. Giant. These are my largest melons so far. Rocky, you gonna eat the melons? No, I don't like melons. He likes mangoes, not melons. Right? Rocky, yeah. <laughs> No, no, don't, can't touch that. Alright, this is a smaller one, more round. So I put out some seeds back in February, end of February. And this is a, a mulch pile that's been sitting here for about a year, a little over a year, almost one and a half years now. So I planted the seeds in the mulch pile which is not mulch already, it's topsoil, except of some logs. It's all, it's all uh, broken down. So um, I just uh, put the seeds in there, like one inch, uh, buried them like one inch. And that's, uh, that's about it. I didn't do anything else. I never watered them. I didn't pull out any weeds. I didn't spray them with anything, naturally, of course. I never spray any, you know, fully organic. Actually I'm better than organic because or organic uh, farms they are still allowed and they do use uh, most of them they use some pesticides and insecticides. Well I, I uh, never spray anything. My philosophy is uh, if the, the plants are healthy enough good enough they, they make it if not they die that's it. So yeah they are they are all over and I have uh, is, this is a long one, there's a round one. So I just picked up a couple of uh, bags of seeds, small bags for a, for a couple of dollars, uh, three dollars each I think, organic seeds, USDA organic. And one of the seeds were uh, white and the other one black. And I don't know which one is which and which one is seeded or seedless, because I usually don't save the the package that comes uh, with it. So, whatever. You know, I'm just experimenting. But it's uh, it's pretty cool how, you know, without any intervention. And I have more over there because I have a, at least uh, 10 of these uh, old mulch piles. And I put a few seeds in, uh, in all of them. So I got melons all, uh, all over the place. And I got some cantaloupes too. Oh, check this out. Yeah, I gotta gotta take harvest these. Oh, something got into it. Animals, they gotta eat too. Small animals. It's hard to harvest with one hand. There we go. So yeah, these need uh, a few days. But they sell, they smell sweet, so yeah, they should be all right. Bananas coming up left and right. This one is close to harvest. I'm gonna give it a few more weeks. Another one is flowering there. <laughs> Biggest flower, Nemwa. So I see you guys down at the down in Ecuador, Peter and Jason. You are uh, splitting up. Uh, the Nambo suckers from the plant I gave you. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, where's the other melon I wanted to show you? So here's an another mulch pile. Oh, it's... Let me see. There it is. These are cantaloupes over here. So I, I pulled up the weeds from, from this one. All the other ones are. Uh, are overgrown. Check this out. Nice big melon. Mm -hmm. Let's 
some more cantaloupes. Well, this is the end of the season here because it's already May, mid May now. What is it, 16th, 17th today? So, yeah, I don't know if I can harvest uh, all of my melons, but perhaps I can harvest 10 15 of them. You know, since I don't use uh, any uh, growth hormones, any uh, commercial fertilizers, that's why it takes a bit longer and uh, and yeah, I'm not gonna get a, a big harvest, but uh, you know, I'm still experimenting here, so it's pretty good, uh, you know, if you can plant out some seeds in the in the mulch piles get some melons without uh, without much effort so you know I'm happy and once I can fill up uh, the whole place with mulch which is gonna take a couple of more years then I can plant melons all over the place alrighty friends that's a little uh, melon update I have a bunch more updates, uh, it's just I never have time because my Hungarian channel takes all my time. But I try to upload some videos here to my English channel. Somebody suggested on my Hungarian channel that I should uh, subtitle my, uh, my Hungarian videos. I don't know. That seems like a lot of uh, work. The three to five videos I upload daily. Alright friends, take care.